What's up, everybody? It has been another year. Today is the second anniversary of uh, the first YouTube video I ever uploaded. And I <laughs> had no idea that this is where the channel was going to lead me. And I wanted to take some time today to uh, thank everybody who has helped make this channel what it is. And that is uh, like heavily the developers of the games that I've played and the community that has sprung up around this channel. Now, this whole YouTube thing has been far more successful than uh, I ever hoped that it would be, but in a way that I absolutely never expected. Because I was thinking when I started this out that, you know, I could do something along the lines of like what Jacksepticeye and Markiplier and the really big gaming commentation channels do. And it has taken a completely different turn, but I could not be more thankful for what it has all led to. And I would be lying if I said that where we are now was not a result of what has happened on this channel. Now, it's impossible for me to say what uh, led to my acceptance into SMU for <laughs> making fucking video games, which I still can't believe. I like, I just, I have a hard time wrapping around my head, my head around that, that uh, that's actually happening. And it's happening very soon, but I had no idea that that's where, where this was all gonna lead. And so much of that is due to a couple of reasons. First off, uh, just all of the developers that make all of the games that I have played on this channel. Uh, without their hard work, this, this wouldn't have been a thing. Um, 100%, like, there's, there's not a day that I don't feel like I'm, um, piggybacking off of the the work that all the devs do uh, for the games that I, I play on this channel. I I almost feel like a little bit of a freeloader uh, from just playing their games and giving criticism on it. Um, and it took me a very long time to come to the uh, realization that what I'm what I am doing was both appreciated and valuable that uh, it, it took me a very long time to come to terms with the fact that the developers a lot of the times don't get honest feedback. That some people just want to, uh, you know, gussy up the developers and say that everything that they do is fantastic, or that people who might not usually be interested in their games just never end up playing them. And it's, it's been a really, really fun, interesting, and educational experience to be able to play all these things that I never would. And the sheer number of them that we have covered. Uh, I went through like two days ago and uh, just counting videos that uh, have been made, I have played 950 games in the last two years. That doesn't include extra episodes on the same game or any of the games that I've played for my Overpowered Noobs reviews or just games that I vetted and decided not to do a video on. And that's a, that's a fuck ton of games. That is an absolute fuck ton of games. And uh, I don't think that I would be where I am now if it weren't for all of the developers that have made just phenomenal games that I've played over the last two years. 
Now, the other side of the same coin is the developers and the community who have helped temper my, uh, <laughs> my feedback. Not in any way that it's like being held back by any means, but when I discuss certain aspects of games on whether or not I'm being too critical or uh, whether or not I'm focusing on the right things or if I'm going too easy on a game or things like that that happened very, very early on, um, the community and the developers in the community were all so receptive to any kind of constructive criticism. And that blew me away that my my opinions on their work could be both useful and appreciated. And so much of that is what helped shape the channel into what it is today. Uh, this kind of awkward hybrid between a, a first impressions let's play and this uh, kind of first impressions breakdown of mechanics, design, art, sound, and everything in between. Just about everything except for uh, programming, which, you know, I can make Python say hello world. That's about it. Uh, um, but if it weren't for all of these things, I would never have had the, the remotest inkling that this would be something that I could do for a living or something that I could continue my pursuit of education with. That uh, if it weren't for the number of people who had uh, said that my feedback was both useful and appreciated and that there were people who helped me figure out what the best way to go about delivering all of that was, has fostered this weird <laughs> skill set in me that uh, I'm now going to put to use in actually making games. And if it weren't for this community, these developers, uh, the, the subscribers and people who are active on the Discord, it, it wouldn't have been possible. I, I don't know how else I could have reached where I am now. Now, the... The channel itself has never been a, like, resounding monetary success, and that's okay. That's okay. I am so fine with that. We have coming up on 1,200 subscribers, and when I first started out, I, I thought it was going to go a lot faster than that. I did. I <laughs> was completely deluded in the idea that uh, we were going to be an extremely fast-growing channel and, and all of that kind of stuff, but... I could not be happier on, on where this has all ended up. And these last two years have been a very, very strange and uh, transitional time in my life where I went from having graduated college with a degree in microbiology, getting out into the workforce, realizing that one, I wasn't going to get into medical school and Two, pursuing a PhD in something like that just seems soul-crushing. That I did not want to be somebody's um, grant jockey or just spend my time working my way up through labs. And uh, I left it. I just, I said, fuck it. I can't do this anymore. And Coal Fire was born. It took me a while, but here we are. Two years after the uh, the first video has gone up, and somehow, some way, I've been accepted to the number one graduate school for game design, and I couldn't have done that without you guys. I, seriously, I can't thank you enough for all of the time that we have spent uh, investigating <laughs> random indie games and where it has gotten us. And uh, I just wanted to take this day to thank all of you who have been a part of this. Um, it's, a, it's a weird time. It's a really weird time right now because I've been doing this for the last two years. And uh, it's, it's coming quickly to, uh, to a close. And 
part of me is okay with that and part of me is definitely gonna miss it and while the the channel is never gonna go away in its entirety unless you know some sort of conflict of interest comes up um it, it's just mind-blowing to me uh, that this is where all of this is led now a couple things uh more contemporary than uh <laughs> the overarching ideas of this video one is thank you for letting me gubbo down to one video a day it has been so relaxing in the midst of all the stress of getting ready for grad school and uh i just appreciate that you guys have all been so cool with it um it's amazing how doing two videos a day and then moving down to one I have so much more time. <laughs> I've been so embedded in all of this for the last two years that, uh, like, going down to one video a day and just not having to worry about doing a second one has been so goddamn relaxing, and I appreciate it so much. I really do. Um, it, it make it gives me a little bit more hope to to see how the channel can be maintained while I'm in graduate school because. Um, it, as it stands, like doing one video a day is orders of magnitude easier than doing <laughs> two videos a day. Uh, but yeah, I, I also wanted to say for the few of you that have supported me on Patreon, um, it's been more <laughs> symbolic than anything else. And I sincerely appreciate everybody who has but I will be closing down the Patreon. Um, I want to say this week or later this week, um, because it it doesn't feel appropriate to to keep it open when the channel will no longer be my uh, primary focus of my time and efforts. And um, I just I wanted to thank everybody who's been a part of that. And you guys have been on the the end slate as kind of a credits part of the video for a very long time now and um, I just I appreciate that somebody who's willing to to support me through that and uh, yeah I think that covers just about everything that I wanted to with this video it's a little sappy it's a little long it's pretty damn rambly but I think that's most of my thoughts on this situation I don't script any of this shit uh, I don't know if I've ever actually done a scripted video ever and I'm cool with that I'm very cool with that but again just thank you to everybody who's been a part of this channel this is this is not the end of it uh we're just moving into a very very different phase for coal fire and that's pretty cool it's not where i expected we would end up and um a lot of it is is due to your constant work and feedback developers subscribers community members all of you so thank you I'm two today. Coal fire is. I turn 27 next month. I'm old. But thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.